Hello everyone. Today we want to take a look at the latest version of the Honeycomb Configurator and the newly included features. So let's get started. The first new cool feature I want to show you is the possibility to add some so many events like you want. In the past we just had one press event and one release event. Now we can add more than one event to the press event or the release event section and you also can rename the events to so you get you never get lost. So to do so just click on a button and now with the add event button you can add an, uh, a press event or a release event. So we will add, let's say, three uh, press events, and now we also can rename it to, let's say, press one. Press two, no, two. When you edit the name, again, press two. Now press the enter key on your keyboard. Now it's saved and under every event you have the same uh, condition and variables option like in the past. The new master LED is helpful to control every LED on your throttle at once. Just a short example. You would like to switch off all LEDs if the master battery is not on. So go to the LED mode and select the master LED in the drop down menu and simply add a condition for that case. You also can take a brief look into the new default profiles which are included in the last version. In my case uh, I already have loaded the default profile and in this profile we have selected the uh, total uh, load amps variable for the LED master. In the last version you were able to either switch on repeat or not. Now you also can do that by changing the slider from off to normal. But you are also able to switch the repeat function to delayed normal and delayed fast. This is very helpful for the decrease and increase knob at the top of the throttle. This will, for example, speed up the head embark inside the simulator. Again, you should also take a look at the new default profiles, which are included in the latest version. The normal repeat will repeat the function in every second frame. The delayed normal repeat will repeat the function again if you press or rotate the button within 600 milliseconds and then again in every second frame of the simulator. The delayed fast repeat will do the same as the delayed normal repeat, but it will repeat the function within every frame of the sim. This sounds a bit confusing, but just play around with it and take a look into the default profiles. In the new version, the XPen users now also have the opportunity to select the commands and that refs from a pre filled list like uh, the P3D users. For example, click on a button and add a new press event to it. Then go to the variables section. and click on the select variable field. Now type in the data ref you are searching for, like for example, you know, let's say master caution. 
master caution and select your data ref. In the past, we just were able to enter the variable and the value we would like to set. Now we are also able to set variables where we add or subtract something with every click. Um, we are also able to enter some clamp values or min and max. Um, this can be helpful for some variables. We used that in uh, some of our new Airsoft Airbus profiles. So to learn more about this, check out these new profiles. I also will give a short preview of that right now. So go to profile. We will open the A330 throttle profile, load, and we will select, for example, the decrease button. Then we can go to the altitude 1000 decrease. And there we can see in the variables that we are controlling this vari variable with minus equal. So this means we are subtracting 1000 from the current value. And we also have a min value for the decrease button. Same on the other side for the increase button. We go to the altitude again, variables, yes, let's take the two. And as this is now the increase button, we see that it is plus equal thousand. And now we don't have a minimum value, but we have a maximum value. We added a startup delay. This means when you start your flight, it can take a while until everything is loaded. We did this because we need to wait until every third party add on aircraft loaded its own variables. But usually this only takes a few seconds. You probably know these startup delays for, from uh, the Boeing, uh, from PMDG, for example, or from more Airbus. For uh, better debugging reasons, we added the possibility to show the variables inside the simulator. You can activate this in the handicap menu inside the simulator. So to do that, open up your simulator, start a flight and go to the add-ons honeycomb menu and there you can activate the show bindings option. And when you now click on a button on the device, you will see the variables inside this small box. This feature works under P3D, FSX and Explain. We also did some new profiles and we uploaded them to the Airsoft forum. For that, check out the link in the description below and be sure to also check out the other cool new profiles from other customers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and also a big thank you for the great feedback you gave us. If you have any problem or again feedback, please feel free to contact us via mail. So support at airsoft.de or .com or you also can write us in the Airsoft forum. Stay safe and see you soon.